Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It's Tuesday, so that means it's time for Tuesday Talks. Tuesday Talks is a group that I started with my friend Janelle over at Mrs. J. Rods Reads, and every Tuesday we discuss book-related topics, and we have a group, and I'll link to that group in the description box below so you guys can go check that out. So this week's discussion is a pretty good one. It is on what are some of your bookish resolutions. Generally, I don't have resolutions. I don't I don't do them for New Year's. I don't do them bookish ones. But this year I just I have a lot of things that I'd like to change book wise. So I figured why not do some resolutions. I have four to share with you guys today, so let's get started. Um the first one is less review books. I want to do less review books because I just feel like I can't say no when people ask me to review their books and then before I know it I have six seven eight books to review and then I'm in this crunch trying to get these books reviewed and I just need to learn to say no pure and simple that's what I need to learn to do that's what this resolution is about I want to be able to say no and just read the books that I have here that I want to read so yeah that's that's bookish, bookish resolution number one number two is no Goodreads challenge this year. I know I just said I was doing a Goodreads challenge in my uh, challenge video, but I got to thinking about it. Um, I usually put down 75 to 100 books, and I generally read about 120 plus books in a year, and I will probably still do that. But I feel like that's all I'm doing is reading. I don't take time to to do other things. It's not because I don't want to read. I want to read. That's why. And I just, that's all I do. So I just found, like, maybe I miss out on other things that I might enjoy as well. So I'm thinking maybe if I don't do the Goodreads challenge, then maybe I will read less and then do other things. Because I know there's other things that I really enjoy to do and I just, I just read all the time. The only time I'm not reading is if you know, we are going out someplace, the family drags me out, or we have something else planned. Other than that, I pick up my book and I feel like if I'm not reading, I'm missing something, so I, I keep, I read. I, and it's, there's nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like I'm missing other things, if this makes sense to any of you guys. So, I'm just figuring that No Good Reads Challenge will help me meet this resolution, and maybe I will experience more things, and I will let you guys know if I do. If I get to enjoy other things, like, you know, I, I don't watch movies anymore or play board games or something. I just, I don't do other things that I enjoy doing. I got my coloring book and I have colored one page and that was it because I'm reading. So, yeah, there's number two. Number three, read more with the grandson. My grandson is now in kindergarten and they're starting to sound out words and they're forming sentences with you know with those words in their in their and they're coming along and by next year they will be reading and my grandson brings home a book from the school library and we always say oh we're gonna read that but then he wants to go to the playground so we'll go to the playground when we come back we forget and I pick up my own book and I'm reading so I want to read more with him because he enjoys it and that makes me extremely happy that he enjoys reading so I want to instill that into him about reading so hopefully that I can meet this resolution and we can read more and the last one I've got is start reading the collected books that I have on my shelves you guys always hear me say oh well I'm collecting this author so I can start reading them soon and I and I've not done it so I'm going to read more collected books um, some examples Heather Graham Fern Michaels John Sanford which I finally did read Rules of Prey for, by John Sanford, but I've been com collecting that series. It's a huge series. If I if I keep saying I'm going to collect it, then I'm never going to read it because there's 20 plus books in that series. So I need to read more of these collected books. So I, I know if I like them or not. If I don't like them, then I'll quit buying them. But what if I don't like them and I've got this ton of books, you know, because I kept buying them and I didn't try them. So. Yes, my last resolution is going to be read more collected books on my shelves. Get at least one or two of those books read, determine if I like that author, and then I can, I'll can i know which way to go. Do I buy more? Do I not? Yes. So, those are my bookish resolutions, if they made sense to you guys. I hope they did. 
But what are some of your guys' um, bookish resolutions for 2016? Let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. Thanks, guys, for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.